OK, Chesney Hawks, let me just fill you in. Uh, he shot to fame with the release of that number one single, The One and Only. The year was 1991, so 29 years ago. Wow. Almost, yeah, amazing. It doesn't feel that long ago. But then, there you go, Chesney Hawks is back, though, but not alone. There he is with his three children. That's Casey, Jesse and Indy, live in Los Angeles. Lovely to see you. Thank you. Great to see you. Thank you, see you. And thank, you, you for, thank you for getting up so early. It's four o'clock in the morning there. And, Can you and Casey... I got three kids up at four in the morning? <laughs> no, we can't. Three teenagers up at four in the morning. It's never been seen before. Yeah, and that's it's it. amazing. <laughs> but, Casey, you mentioned there uh, that you said, quick, because I've got to get up for school. What you mean that you're all homeschooling, yeah. virtual schooling, because you're all in lockdown like we yeah. are here? Yeah. Yeah, I still abide by school schedule. These guys are lucky. They only get uh, given homework and they have to turn it in. I have to still get up early. <laughs> and you actually, do, do you, I mean, all three of you have kind of followed in Dad's footsteps in terms of your, your performers, and you're at an actual kind of theatre school, a bit like fame. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. It's very much like fame. There's like you turn up to the campus and there's there's a kid doing pirouettes over there, and then someone doing a <laughs> Shakespeare monologue over there. Same with Jessie, actually. She is a, she's at a performing arts school as well. Well, get good luck to to all of you. Um, let's go back to 1991, Chesney. Um, was fame? Did one and only bring you the fame? Were you were you well known before one and only? And um, did could you spot this as the one that's going to really put me out there what, what was your thoughts when it came your way well I was I was only a, a young whippersnapper at that point and so I was was certainly not known before that I was playing in pubs playing piano and playing Barry Manilow songs in local, things like that um, and yes the one and only um, I mean I didn't know uh, what to expect to be honest with you so when that came out um, and did really well I just thought okay well uh Let's do another one then, shall we? <laughs> Brilliant. And did you ever, was there ever a moment when one and only was presented to you, you thought, well, I'm not sure, or maybe I shouldn't, or, I mean, did you ever come close to, to it not happening? Uh, there was moments, uh, for, for me, not at all. Uh, I mean, my kind of guiding force to wanting to record the one and only is because I wanted to meet Nick Kershaw, who, who wrote the song. <laughs> <laughs> that was literally, I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to get to meet Nick. Then we'll definitely do it, because I was a huge Nick fan back in the day. Um, but uh, and it, it nearly, there was some people involved in the project because it was part of a film. There were some people uh, involved in the project that, that weren't sure about the song. Um, but but for me, I was like, yeah, we've got to do this song, <laughs> you know. And my dad, in particular, got to give credit to the old man. He was the one who said, "This is this is a hit." I'm telling you. <laughs> and he was right. And actually, we had a call from one of our mates. We've got a, a, a mate in, in common, Lucy Alexander, television presenter Lucy Alexander. Now you'll know yeah. Lucy from the property programs and, and things like um, Homes Under the Hammer. <laughs> but there <laughs> she is. <laughs> that is Lucy <laughs> at 20 years of age, dressed as Mary Antoinette. Who was in, uh, in the video? <laughs> she was in the video. <laughs> in the video from one of them. Alongside the other girl there um, is Saffron from Republica before they uh, were banned, before they, oh she made God, it. Oh, my God, you're a baby. Um, <laughs> and, and you and Lucy still keep in touch, don't you? Yeah, we're still, we're still mates, yeah. It's nice, nice to see her there. Hey, Lucy. <laughs> Lucy, that is some no. hairstyle, I have to say. That is some <laughs> hairstyle <laughs> there. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so um, I, I want to know from, from Jesse and, and Indiana and Casey there. Uh, Jesse, maybe, what, what, um, what, what do you think of, of your dad and when were you aware that, you know, he was something different and he had got this mega hit? Well, to be fair, when we were younger, <laughs> we didn't uh, live in L.A. When we lived in England, I didn't really know because I think I was nine, so I didn't really understand, except for when my teachers were like, oh, you're dead, and one of my teachers would just come up to me and go, Chesney Hawks, and I didn't understand <laughs> what was happening. And I just went to my friend, I was like, I think the only time I really realized that he was famous was when we went back and a bunch of people were at his concerts and one lady turned around to me while he was at a festival and said, that's my son, I gave birth to him. I was like, I have a grandma. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Indy, you know, most, most teenagers your age, um, you know, you're 14, do not think their parents are cool in any shape or form. How do yeah. you feel about having Chesney Hawks, the one and only, as your dad? Before you answer that, here's, here's the tenor. <laughs> I, uh, I think he's he's awesome. He's pretty cool. Oh, he's, right. he's all right. He's doing yeah. something right, guys. <laughs> and, and you're you're following in Dad's footsteps because you you're a musician. or want to be a musician. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm in love with that thing right there. The he's got a, yeah, he's he's <laughs> picked up a guitar about six months ago, and he's now overtaken me completely. <laughs> I mean, he's he's an amazing musician. You'll you'll know you see in a minute. I'm going to get him to play for you. Yeah, we will. Yeah. We will. We will see in a minute because this is this is good. So viewers watching at home, this is a bit like watching the Von Trapp family <laughs> um, yes. uh, here together. Oh. They've all got these uh, these talents, and um, so they're going to get in position. They're going to get ready to uh, for us from them to you this uh, special uh, rendition of the hit single, the one and the only. So, Hawks, take it away. <laughs> Oh, oh, thank you so oh. much. That is so lovely seeing you. And, and music really lifts our spirits, doesn't it, Chesney? At a time like this, oh, we need definitely. music. Particularly right now, we're all feeling it, aren't we? It's, uh, it's tough. I mean, obviously, I'm lucky. I'm in isolation with these beautiful people here. And we've got Mischief in the back there. Look, he's he <laughs> your himself. Door. Hello, Mischief. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, thank guys, you, Casey, Jesse and Indy, you can all go back to bed now. Thank you very much thank for you. getting yeah. up right, for us. Right as well. <laughs> yeah, you can as well. Lovely to see you, Chesney. Much Take appreciated. Care, you, won't you? Thank you, guys. Stay Thank safe. you very, very much indeed.